Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So you want to try out the latest macOS, but you want to run it safely in a virtual machine like VMware, UDM or VirtualBox. So there is just one problem. Apple doesn't give you an ISO file to download. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to create your own bootable macOS ISO file right on your Mac by just using the built-in terminal application. It's easier than you think. So stick around because by the end of this video, you will be ready to install any macOS on a virtual machine. For this video, I will be creating a macOS Tahoe ISO file and you can follow the same steps for creating an ISO version of any macOS version. So before we start, make sure you have two things. First, a Mac that is compatible with macOS Tahoe and secondly, at least 20 gigabytes of free space. So let's jump in. Step 1 is to download the macOS Tahoe installer. So just go to this URL and click on installassistant.pkg file and save it to your desktop. As I have already downloaded this file, so I will skip this process. Also, I will provide all the links in the video description below. Once it is finished, double click on the installassistant.pkg file and continue with the installation steps. So once the installation is complete, you can go to your application folders and you will see the install macOS Tahoe app. So just leave it as it is and click on your launchpad and open terminal. Now you need to paste these commands one by one. Don't worry, I will provide all these commands in the description below so you can just copy and paste them. The first command creates a blank 20 gigabytes of disk image on your desktop to serve as our container. Once copy and paste it, press enter. After a while, you should see a file called tahoe.dmg that appears on your desktop. Perfect. Next, we need to mount that image so that our Mac sees it as a drive. So run this command. Now for the magic, we will use Apple's own secret tool called Create Install Media to format our mounted image and copy the bootable installer files to it. So this requires sudo, so you need to enter your password. So this is the longest part. It will take around 3 to 4 minutes and the terminal will show you the progress. Once it is done, you need to unmount the volume. But note, its name has changed. So use this command. So we are almost there. Now we will convert our DMG file into a CDR format. So which is basically the same as an ISO file. And for the final steps, we will just rename the .cdr file to .iso. You can do write that in the terminal. And there it is, your own fully bootable macOS Tahoe ISO file, which is ready to go. So what do you do with this? In UTM, just create a new virtual machine and point it to this ISO file when asked for the installation disk. The process is very similar for VirtualBox and VMware. So links to all the commands are in the description below. If this video saved you a ton of time and hassle, do me a huge favor and hit that like button and subscribe for more tutorials like these. It really helps the channel out. So let me know in the comments what you are using your macOS Tahoe VM for. Development, testing or you are just checking it out. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.